Mexico. Hi everyone. We are students from University of Southeastern Philippines and I'm Lemuel. I'm Nova and we are going to discuss about the non-oxidative state of the pentose phosphate pathway or PPP. The pentose phosphate pathway non-oxidative phase. The end product of the oxidative stage of PPP, which is 3 ribulose 5-phosphate, is converted into 2 cellulose 5-phosphate and a ribulose 5-phosphate. The enzymes, a tamarase and isomerase, are needed to catalyze the cell reactions. The enzyme epimerase is needed to transform the ribulose 5-phosphate to cellulose 5-phosphate and isomerase to ribose 5-phosphate. The reaction 1 of the pentose phosphate pathway requires two pentoses, which are ribose 5-phosphate and cellulose 5-phosphate. This is the cellulose 5-phosphate. and the other pentose which is the ribose 5-phosphate. These two pentose are catalyzed by the transcatalase. A two-carbon fragment is transferred from the ketose to the aldose. This is the ketose and this is the aldose. So after catalyzing, the two, there will be the two products which are the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the ceduheptalose 7-phosphate. As we can see, a two-carbon fragment is transferred from the ketose to the aldose. This is the transferred two-carbon fragments from this cellulose 5-phosphate and then it became glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. This reaction is catalyzed by the transcatalase. The products of the reaction 1, the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the ceduheptalose 7-phosphate are the substrates for the reaction 2.
So, in this reaction, a tricarbon unit, this tricarbon unit is transferred from the ketose to the aldose by the enzyme transaldolase. So, this tricarbon unit from the cerdoheptalose 7-phosphate was transferred to the glycerol 3 glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate. Transcatalase is also utilized for the third reaction. The substrates of the reaction 2, which is the cellulose 5-phosphate and the erythrose 4-phosphate, are used for the reaction 3. So, this is the reaction 3. So, in the reaction 3, a 2-carbon unit is transferred from the cellulose 5-phosphate, a ketose, to erythrose 4-phosphate, and aldose. So, the products are this, the glycerol 3, glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate, and the fructose 6-phosphate. The products of this reaction, glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate and the fructose 6-phosphate are both intermediates of the glycolytic pathway. The sum of the stage 2 reactions is 2-cellulose 5-phosphate plus ribose 5-phosphate is converted into 2-fructose 6-phosphate plus glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate. If we include the stage 1 isomerization reactions, the net reaction is 3-ribose 5-phosphate converted into 2 fructose 6-phosphate plus 3 glycerol dehyde 3-phosphate. The important point is that the excess ribose 5-phosphate formed by the pentose phosphate pathway can be completely converted into glycolytic intermediates. The rate limiting step of the pentose phosphate pathway. The first reaction in the oxidative branch of the pentose phosphate pathway catalyzed by glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is the rate limiting step under physiological conditions. NADPH is a potent competitive inhi inhibitor of the enzyme. Thus, the ratio of NADP plus over NADPH regulates the pathway. As the NADP plus level rises, the flux through the pathway increases. So, the non oxidative branch of the pathways is regulated primarily by the Substitute substrate availability. <laughs>